All right, let's get into some things. Pass rush. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna need to take glasses off, man. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna you put one on. Okay. okay. Right here. Put it on your right arm, though. All right. All right. Okay. How many guys? And I got this from Martin. I'm just like you. I research all the time. Okay. This is off of YouTube. This is this is UCLA. This is some of the guys, Cal guys in California. They have used MMA teaching techniques. All right, to integrate them with defensive line play. Uh, UCLA does a lot of this. All right, um, and there's a lot of NFL guys. Jared Allen uses this stuff all the time. The first premise coming up, come on, Ski, you stay right here. All right, is basically I talk about we want to use this forearm almost as a weapon. Now, I'm, I'm literally how I use the term weapon here. Okay, but this is this is part of our tool. Okay, and what we're trying to do is teach guys to take this forearm, all right, come in here, and how hard can I hit, okay, with this thing, and stay in balance. There's the key. You gotta stay in balance when you do this. Okay, so the drill we'll do, okay, and I had to work a miracle. If anybody knows Stan's way for you know, he's very particular in a couple of things. These are his babies. He uses this for quarterback footwork drills. He lays them all over the place and they use them in and out. And I steal these from him. So thank God I've known Stan for 30 some years because I'd probably be fired if I was anybody else on our staff. All right, so now here's the other thing is, okay, most of you guys are right handed, right? Correct? Okay. First hand, that's why I had him, he put his on the right and mine's on my right. Guess what drum we're using first? Our left. I'm always find ways to work on the weaker part first. Okay, so on this drill, we're going to be just like in here. But I want this shield, no, off the side. There you go, right there. Okay, right in here. So what's going to happen now? I'm going to first, and we're going to kind of move ourselves. All right, he's. Just, see, I'm just keeping this here because he's going to go next. All right, so you're going to work a circle. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hit. Go, go. See what I'm doing? You see the arm action? It's not straight down. It's got a little bit of a cross coming to it. All right? I'm trying to keep myself in position, so I'm trying to move. Why am I moving in that direction? Because that's where my hips are going to go to finish off the pass rush move. So now we get down, we go around a circle. We're going to do it. Come on. Not too much down. Too much down. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Line it up too much. Can you see his hand come all the way up to here? When he was doing that, you got to come down closer. Okay, I'm gonna go, and you're gonna go. Okay, come here. Okay, there you go. So come down the bus. Don't cross more. Okay, take that arm right there. See that? Feel that? You'll have to stop, guys. You gotta give them that feel. What are they doing with this? Okay, they gotta, gotta be able to do that. Now, the other thing we'll do is put two on one. You do. Oh, your hands are there. Okay, now what we do is we'll throw one hand, I'll we'll keep them both in here, throw one out, one either way, so now I gotta react. Okay, so one comes out, and here's one. Now I'm gonna do this, all right, and now we finish it. So I'm coming through here, boom, come right there with the rip, go right by, come back, all right, there it is, come here, step here with the rip. So now, we can take this to another step, okay? Make sense? All right. So that's that's part of the what I like on that one, okay? Is teaching guys how powerful can they get when they get those arms out of there. The other one that I actually been working on this this winter. I researched this one. I love it. Okay? Is the hands are going to come up? I want this hand to come up. Come on, slap it away. I want them to see it. Okay, I would I normally start the other way. Is it coming in here? That's the hands coming up. I want to get that out of here. All right, I want that hand out of here. Wait a minute, what's he doing? Okay, I'm going to take this. What's he got to do with that hand? He wants to bring it back, right? I'm going to help him. I'm going to pull him right down through here. So the move ends up 
hand comes up, I go here, here, and then I go away. I'm trying to get away from it. Work through. And what we'll do is we work a three three man drill here. So if we're out of here, okay, Skin would be here, I'd be here, the guy's going, he's gonna work this arm for one guy, then he's gonna work the other arm on that guy. And we just rotate around. And it's all, can we get the pull? And when they're doing the pull on this, this slap has gotta be fast, but now you gotta come in here, and we're gonna look to get that tricep. Okay, just right past that elbow, and pull them down, and come through here. Right in there. Okay, <clears throat> I'm excited about that. Uh, you know, I gave our guys a little video. They go work on it, I'll, I'll see them in April, if they actually practice it or not, because I'll know right away. Where they've done it, okay? So it's on chain and then pull hand I uh, swipe it. Yep. On it, pull. Okay, right down there. That's all you're doing. All right, pull it. Now, the other thing we do, okay, remember we got all this, so we're trying to do, we're coming in here, we're, we're working that hip, okay, and we're working the ribs. You saw my hips kind of flip. One of the things that I allow guys to do and actually teach us is, and we, we started with a down the line drive. I won't need you in this one. Okay. Okay. So I'm working the line. Okay. And I'm going to think, okay, I'm going to go left hand, left hand close. So we're going to come down. This, this, is, this is how fast we do it. Okay. Anybody coach track? You ever see a track, track guy's jog when he's going to take that little light jog? Again? They go about this fast, right? Okay. I had a daughter who's a track athlete, so I know how they do this. Okay. <laughs> and we do this. All right. Now what we do, we want to climb past it. You can see my right foot just went behind my left foot. I'm back to here. So I'm here, so backwards karaoke. I come back the other way with my arm. Boom, boom. And if you notice, what I'm trying to teach guys is, okay, is to keep moving direction of the quarterback. Gotta get kicked in, okay? So what you want to do if I try to do this, I come here, okay, I can go here, but it's almost not as natural. And what we do is, see, here's the, here's the, ends up being the final part of the drill. Our guys get used to this, you're just gonna stand there like an offensive line. Okay, so I'm jogging, hands are up. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna reach here, I'm gonna pull that tricep again. At the same time I'm pulling the tricep, my back leg is coming behind me. And now I'm reaching through, and I'm right here. So now just stand still, don't, don't even move on me, okay? Yes, sir. Excuse me. All right, you come in here, I club it, I grab tricep as I step behind, I come here, now where's my foot pointed? To the quarterback. Right to the quarterback. It's an outside edge rush, going here, now I can come right here, and I've ended up on his backside. Okay? I've stacked him in essence. Anybody coaches special teams? I am actually a special teams coordinator at Dubuque as well. So we talked about stacking, you know, the blocker. We're stacking the blocker here. So I'm going to come through, okay, club, grab him, step behind, there I am. Now, what you will get is, let me keep, I'll tell you exactly, show you exactly what you're going to see. You're going to have some guys here that do this right here, and now they can't do anything. What they're doing, they're going away from everything. Okay? Because they didn't take the arm across. Okay? I talk to them about when they club, when we're working that club, is you're clubbing this arm to get to that arm. You want that type of action. Going from one to the other. So you're coming in here. Now if you do this, what happens to your hips? They flip when you do it. Now it's easy. Okay? The other thing is if the kid's not very flexible in his hips, I've had these, have one right now. All right, he does this, and they end up shuffling. That comes through here. Because they can't just get that hip to turn. Okay? If they get, if you have a guy like that, here's my, my recommendation. One, put him inside. Okay? Get him out of the outside. Okay? If you have no ability doing that. And, and two is don't let him use that technique. Teach him just pure speed. Come around there, okay? We will do that, we're gonna do all these things. Now when we do this, all these drills that we're just showing right here, I have that third guy who's the quarterback, okay? At all times. So we finish with quarterback, is guy's back to me, okay? Gonna strip sack, 
Quarterback turns to me, puts his arm up, match hands. Okay, because I want that mentality. When we match hands, you hear me talk about that a lot, Skeep his quarterback. All right, so now he, he's sitting there. If his eyes are looking right here, right there, I want to match this hand right now. Okay, that's the hand I'm matching. I do not leave the ground. I don't keep, my other hand stays down because I want to be able to, if he pulls it, I want to be able to grab for him. Okay, if he's looking right through this angle right there, now I'm going to match hands right here. So we're always constantly working at matching hands. Because to me, in the way we think about defensively is that pass knockdown, that's as good as sack. And a lot of times, having played quarterback, that's just as demoralizing. Because your offensive lineman technically was successful. He kept you away from kept defense lineman away from the quarterback. Quarterback saw his rage, he knew where he wanted to throw. He had the space, he throws, and he gets knocked down. Demoralized. A sack, you can usually say, okay, the offensive lineman screwed up. I held on the ball too long. We get that corrected. How do you correct the fact that guy just matches hand? That that gets a little bit more difficult. Okay? All right, how am I doing on time here? You have about five minutes, left, Coach. Holy cow. All right. Make sure. All right. Here's one what I want to try to do. Steve remembers this one. You come out here. You can you be the offense. Oh, you can be defense lineman, okay? We're going to get into this locked up position. How many guys get in here, right? You get in this way right here. We're going to come, let's back up a little bit. Excuse me, a little more room. All right, here we go. This is a little dance move, okay? All right, now. What's going to happen is he's going to be leaning into me, all right? And I'm going to keep him, okay? And he's going to keep that arm moving, okay? Keep that arm moving, okay? That's good, okay? What you're trying to teach is, can you get your body moving, all right? Now, the next phase of this, we're going to actually, you're going to come to the office one and face this way, okay? Okay, it's so in here. Yep. All right, so now we're coming in here. Now what I'm going to do with our guys is, I'm going to yell release. And when I say release, I want to take this inside hand right here, and I'm going to explode this thing backwards, right into here. Okay? So I, that thing is going to explode, and at the same time, I'm going to put my other hand on his hip so I can push off. But his back is okay. So we're going to come around. So right here, see? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to move. I'm coming here. I'm coming here. Release. Okay, come right in there. How fast can you get that done? Get away from me. How hard? And when I do this drill, I'm looking that release hand. It's got to come where the hand is, ends up above the shoulders. Okay, now with no pads on, you can really get it up there. But I just, I just know when they put the shoulder pads on all time, you got to basically say, okay, hand above the shoulder right there. All right? Any questions on that one? That's, a, that's another one that, that I like to use uh, right there. All right, considering we're over time, that's good, Steve. Okay. We got to work out in today. I love this stuff, man. All right, questions. Things that maybe I didn't cover, technique, I didn't want to get into scheme stuff. The, ma the other majority of our time that we do is a lot of two on one, three on one uh, type scheme work. So I'll put a guy in the shade and, and say he's a three technique. All right, he's on a shade on a guard. He's going to have a center there. He's going to have a tackle there. And what are different things? So we're doing a full you know, zone. Uh, they're working double team like that. Uh, we're hard on getting off, so we're going to try to explode the double team, make the double team guy come flat. All right, we're in it. We're going to try to hold on to this guy. I'm not going to let him go. You want to chip me off fine, but I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to you. The guy I'm going going against. That's our kind of way of beating double team. Right there. Okay? So we do a lot of scheme work. We spend a lot of time in it. A lot of these things are all my first things that I do. And of course, you guys know what you're doing. They go through very quickly. They can actually do these without me being there. Uh, which they have to do at times because I'm also special teams coordinator. And they do some of these drills when I'm doing special teams. Um, because Defense linemen aren't involved with our special teams. Like that. So, 